Hi everyone, uh, my name is Sinja Shajovic and I work as data engineer in ThingSolver. Uh, but uh, before I start, uh, I need to ask you how many of you never worked with Pandas? Oh, okay. You're my audience. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is the agenda we will be following today. Uh, and uh, for, each, uh, for each step, uh, we will show one example. Uh, first of all, uh, about Pandas, uh, Pandas is open source uh, Python library. Uh, it's developed by uh, Wes McKinney in uh, 2008. Uh, it's uh, pretty sure uh, the most popular libra library for data manipulation. Uh, uh, provide uh, built-in data structures that uh, simplify uh, data manipulation. And uh, Panda setup, uh, if you choose an Anaconda distribution, it will come uh, by default. Uh, if not, uh, you need to install with pip install pandas, uh, and then uh, import in script. Pandas have uh, two type of data structures, the series and data frames. The series, uh, series is... Uh, 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 series is one dim dimensional uh, array. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty similar to Python dictionaries, but uh, key can be duplicated. Uh, uh, data frame uh, we can look at data frame as a dictionary of uh, multiple series, uh, and these are examples of uh, each of them: one one panda series and uh, one pandas. Uh, data frame, uh, so uh, data frame is multi-dimensional array. Uh, uh, if you ever if you ever worked uh, with big data, you know how uh, you know how many data sources you can get, uh, and uh, uh, that's must that's the most important part of uh, pandas and pandas possibilities. Uh, it can read the uh, CSV, comma separated values, files, uh, txt, excels, JSONs, uh, SQL, SAS, etc. Uh, 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 below, uh, below its example of uh, reading any data, uh, you can uh, even you you don't have you don't have uh, you don't need to have uh, data on your local local machine. Uh, where you're running pandas, you can read uh, through FTP. Uh, and uh, after we after we loaded uh, our data, uh <coughs> the best practice is to take a look uh, at the table we have. Uh, you you can do that with the dot head function. Uh, if I remove the number four in brackets, uh, it will show us uh, five rows because uh, that's the default values uh, also if if you wanna bottoms uh, rows uh, you can use tail function uh, these few slides uh, uh, help us to get familiar with uh, data sets uh, and there is a, a real wide, uh, wide range of built-in functions for that for example uh, dot shape uh, will Return as, uh, will return as a tuple uh, uh, with uh, with two values. First value is number of rows, and second value is number of columns in uh, that data frame. Uh, data frame dis uh, uh, dot describe uh, uh, dot describe is usually used uh, for uh, for numerical tables uh, because uh, it returns uh, maximum average. Uh, uh, s uh, maximum average sums and percent uh, frequency of uh, for each column in that data frame. Uh, data frame info is something. Uh, uh, it's something that pandas developers use almost uh, 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 use very often. Uh, it returns. A it returns. A, uh, in the first row, it returns type of type of uh, data structure we have. In this case, is data frame. 
Uh, second, uh, second row is uh, a range of index and uh, show us how many rows we have. Uh, third row is columns, then uh, uh, each column is listed and says us how, how many valid uh, values for uh, each column we have and type of uh, values in that columns. Uh, also uh, at the bottom is memory usage. Okay, uh, when you work with data, uh, uh, the type the type of values is uh, very important, uh, and that that's what uh, that's what people uh, get uh, when when they get uh, some errors. Uh, uh, for example, you can't do any time series manipulation uh, if your if your time series timestamp column is object, uh, not uh, data time. Uh, type. Uh, you can't uh, do any mathematical uh, mathematical aggregations uh, if uh, also is an uh, object. And the object in pandas is, is pandam uh, to string. Uh, uh, so you need to cast uh, uh, any type. Uh, for example, in this uh, in this particular data frame. Uh, 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 quantity quantity is uh, supposed to be integer as it is, but if you want to convert it to string, uh, you can use uh, you can use a uh, uh, code in example. And uh, if you return uh, if you want to return it to integer, just uh, replace string with integer in brackets. Uh, uh, okay, with data time uh, we will be. Uh, will we meet uh, a little bit later? Uh, just to return this, uh, you can see all uh, all columns have uh, ten thousand uh, have ten uh, total t ten thousand values, except customer ID. Uh, it has um, a little fewer, and uh, th uh, there's a missing values. So uh, very important is to handling missing values. Uh, and uh, the way you you are going to handle missing values depends on your data set and uh, what you want to get from your data set. Uh, 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 this is way to this is way to look at uh, how many uh, how many uh, uh, how many uh, missing values in each column you have is uh, uh, the code sample I provide you in the left bottom is now uh, brackets dot sum brackets it will it will summarize all missing values for each column and uh, it will show you the type uh, actually uh, it returns to serious uh, 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 to handle uh, missing values there's a uh, again wide range of built-in functions as a drop now or fill now uh, parameters in uh, in those functions are uh, for example, axis that represent that can represent uh, columns and uh, rows. Uh, zero is for rows. Uh, one is for columns. Uh, and it, it will, if you if you write like this, uh, drop na axis equal zero. It will drop all rows, uh, uh, all rows where find uh, uh, none values, entire rows. Uh, in place, in place equal true. Uh, make sure that the, the next iteration uh, through the data frame it will uh, it will stay dropped in those columns. Uh, uh, if we if we exclude in place parameter uh, in next iteration, next call of uh, the data frame, uh, uh, none values will be returned. Uh, also, there is a subset subset uh, parameter and uh, 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 which uh, received as, uh, as values name of columns uh, and if we provide if we provide uh, columns where uh, which have none values it will drop just rows where that columns has none values not uh, not any columns uh, feel now uh, Filna, uh, with Filna you can uh, uh, you can keep those rows, but uh, or columns, but uh, 
but fill those uh, nine values or replace it with any values you want. In this case, is is replaced with value one, but uh, you you have to you have to think uh, of your data type and uh, what you want uh, from your data type. If you replace uh, with one, it will uh, uh, you will get a bad output. For example, if you uh, if you need uh, sum up that columns uh, or, or subtract, but if you replace with zeros, you can't uh, do multiplication or di divide. Uh, so be careful with that. Uh, also, there is a few methods like forward fill, uh, back fill. Uh, it will take uh, it will take take value of the next rows with uh, with uh, uh, with uh, true values, not missing values. Uh, also, uh, uh, there is a there is a, uh, many there is many methods to there is a many methods to uh, manipulate with strings uh, uh, actually objects in pandas uh, like rename and replace split etc. To rename columns uh, using dictionaries strongly recommended. Where you provide uh, as a key uh, all name. Uh, of columns and uh, uh, value is new name that you want to replace. Uh, also, uh, again, in place dot true to keep uh, those renaming. Uh, you can add suffix, prefix, and whatever you want. Uh, replacing values is uh, 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 is a little bit in interesting. Uh, if you uh, there is a there is a parameter regex uh, and uh, uh, I, I'm not sure if you noticed in the country column uh, we have uh, in this uh, top of data frame uh, Germany value and uh, when you when we use uh, uh, when you use a string replace a function uh, for that column uh, we. Uh, uh, we can uh, choose uh, if regex will be true or false, and uh, on that depends uh, uh, if we will replace the whole string ho or whole value or just part of value. If regex is true, then uh, in this case uh, we'll replace uh, many, uh, m many with empty, uh, with empty string. So it will basically delete many from any string. Uh, uh, any string uh, found in, the in those uh, in that columns, uh, but if we uh, if we put regex uh, equal false, it will be nothing here because there is no country many. Uh, anyone who works in in, in with uh, with big data with huge amount of data. Uh, know that uh, that uh, our local machines um, uh, can have a trouble with uh, with handling uh, all those uh, all those uh, data and uh, uh, can have a problem with processing. Uh, so you can so you can create a sample or you can uh, uh, filtering unnecessary rows or columns. Uh, if you uh, want to some uh, some desired columns. Uh, uh, it's pretty simple. Just uh, put in two uh, in two square brackets uh, all the columns, and it will and it will follow the order uh, you input. Uh, you input uh, and these rows uh, can be filtered by many ways. Uh, the one uh, is uh, the one is uh, shown here. Uh, and uh, I and uh, if you want to choose multiple values, uh, if you want to filter by multiple values, you separate it, uh, each in one brackets. Okay, uh, handling time series. Uh, uh, today, where uh, uh, where uh, amount of data is very huge. And uh, there is uh, there is also a uh, 
very huge amount of uh, real-time data. Time series is, is really important and Pandas is really powerful, powerful tool for handling time series. Uh, because and it's very usual to have time time snaps in a data set. Uh, uh, from data time import, everything in this case uh, is recommend is recommendation. And uh, before and as I said uh, as I said before, uh, before you start to work with data with uh, time series, you need to cast every time series columns to data time type. And uh, after that, you can uh, you can uh, parse uh, weeks, weekdays, uh, split into date, uh, date and time separately. Uh, use time del delta to manipulate the time range, uh, etc. Uh, uh, one example is uh, is here about the table uh, where we, where I create new column called new data time. Uh, uh, I just uh, I just uh, <coughs> subtract eight hours from uh, original data time column. To attach one, uh, this uh, merging, uh, and it's pretty simple to SQL joining. You just don't have a, a, a left outer, right outer. You, you have a three type of join, left, right, uh, inner and outer. Uh, I created manually uh, one uh, uh, one simple data frame with country co uh, with two columns, country column and continent, uh, and uh, I merged it with uh, with uh, data frame we had previously uh, on country column inner, uh, and the output is below. Uh, uh, group by and uh, aggregation uh, is uh, uh, is uh, mm, uh, to use any group by aggregation method. Uh, you first need to check uh, if value type is good. Of course, you cannot uh, aggregate uh, strings, uh, uh, as I said, uh, with some mathematical operations, uh, and uh, uh, that's when we. Usually came back to uh, dot info uh, met, uh, function to see if uh, types are good, and uh, and uh, there is a sample of how I uh, how I create a date just a date uh, come from that time, uh, and uh, 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 and in the next and uh, in the next code line I uh, uh, I am grouping with grouping by uh, date, country, column, and continent, and uh, use aggregation on, uh, and uh, again, uh, Python dictionaries are very useful uh, in Pandas. Uh, you can provide for each column in, in actually in one function, you can provide for each column a different type of aggregation. Uh, you can quantity column uh, sum, and uh, find mean of unit price column. And uh, as I saw uh, as, uh, in the agenda, the last the last step was uh, uh, basic plotting pandas, but uh, it's really simple, uh, of course, as uh, everything previous. But uh, and have pandas have a built-in plot method, uh, but so for something advanced plotting, uh, I recommend to you to use uh, some additional libraries uh, that can be. That can create plot, uh, plotting by adding layers, uh, uh, one uh, to each other. Uh, in this plot, we see. Uh, in this plot, we see. Uh, uh, we see the uh, how change the values uh, of quantity column and unit price column uh, through days. Uh, uh, through the uh, through dates uh, showed in the first column. And that's uh, just a code f uh, for I don't know how many characters. Uh, said twenty maybe. Uh, 
uh, and that's pretty much it. You can uh, ask questions uh, for some detailed uh, explanation of any of these, these steps previous. Okay, apparently it's working. So you mentioned handling extremely large data sets, which with databases that expose APIs is fairly easy, but is there a way to subset, say, a massive file bef before downloading it? So not loading the whole thing, then subsetting it, then saving that to a file, and then subsequently loading it again? So say, say I find a massive database somewhere online and it's not yes. a structured database that I can access through an API, it's just a file. Is there a way for me to only load part of it before uh, actually download yeah, it? Yeah, uh, I guess you can, you can read uh, uh, just a moment. Uh, uh, uh huh. Okay. 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 Uh, there's a way uh, when you use when you use this uh, uh, code line. Uh, there are many parameters I didn't include here. You can uh, you can set uh, how many rows uh, it will be skipped. Uh, uh, you don't have if if your dataset has two million rows, you can use the first uh, first uh, uh, fifty thousands or the last fifty thousands, etc. Is that you ask for? Yeah, yeah, essentially, and it doesn't really care where the data is coming from, online, offline. Yes, yes, of course, if you have access. Thank you. That's it. Thank you.